So I built this new, much smaller version of an analog VU meter using magnets and copper wire. And if you want to see how it's made and uh, how it can be tested with an audio circuit, please keep watching. So I calibrated this with uh, various voltages um, between 9 volt batteries and uh, and 1.5 volt batteries in various combinations and I tested it against a, a multimeter so I was able to mark and track which voltages are where and mark them on the little card uh, behind but here's an example of just 9 volts if I press it it goes up so just over nine volts, which is what a fresh nine volt battery has, and uh, so on and so forth. But it uh, it works fairly well. So now let's test it with this little um, preamp circuit. Um, it's a little amplifier, and so the way I have it, and let's disregard this yellow wire for now. Um, but basically it's an LM386 chip and it's basically a single rail operated amplifier and uh, pin one and eight are not connected. Um, pin, two, pin two is the inverting input that goes to ground. Pin three is the non-inverting input and that's coming in through this. Um, jack um that's going to go to an ipod um and then uh the other side of that is going to ground so pin four is the ground for the um for the actual uh chip um the power of the chip goes to pin six pin five is the output and that's going through this 47 microfarad capacitor um and uh, since it's going to be producing after the capacitor, it's going to be producing positive and negative voltages. And I don't want any negative voltages going in. So I have this diode um, coming from ground to the output of the capacitor. Um, and that is where the input pin is going to go um, in that rail. And I just have to supply power, but I'm going to get the... Um, let me get the iPad and see what it can do. A demo of the VU meter as it responds to music. So I have, uh, once again, uh, this I, old iPhone with a uh, eighth inch jack that is um, connected to the input of this LM386 amplifier. Um, the output of that is going through a 47 microfarad capacitor. And then there's a diode uh, going from ground to the output of the capacitor, and that's going into the positive input, the blue wire of this uh, analog VU meter. And the uh, other side of that, the white wire is going to ground, and it's connected to the ground of the main circuit. And this is powered off of a nine volt battery. So it should give you positive and negative 4.5 volts. And then the diode gets rid of the negative uh, voltages. And so now I have, um, this iPad that's capable of uh, playing music. Once again, this is the design of the circuit with the um, VU meter. Um, and so uh, basically, let's play the music and see what it does. Yep, it's going to 4.5 volts. And that's the maximum at maximum volume. So this obviously the input to this amplifier. This is a quick and dirty amplifier, but the uh, a real amp circuit uh, will incorporate other features like uh, volume control and things like that. But if I lower the volume on this, you'll see that the signal is not going to go as high up. Let's see. Yeah. Now it's a lower volume. Now it's going to swing. It won't swing as high. And if I get it even lower, you won't see anything. Here, 
barely swinging between zero and 1.6 volts there. I'll make it louder. And now it should be swinging. That's our view meter circuit. Analog view meter. Um, test it out with uh, audio input signal. So, and this is calibrated uh, using that multimeter right there. Once again, here's a look at the design of the circuit. And uh, it's basically, um, you know, mechanically engineered uh, magnets attached to a copper wire that uh, is sitting in a is sitting in a loop of 200 turns of 42 gauge enamel coated copper wire that um, the signal is applied to and it creates a fluctuating magnetic field and as the magnetic field uh, which is coming uh, perpendicular to the turns the coils um, as that goes up and down as it waxes and wanes the magnet uh, aligns and moves and that's attached to the copper this little piece of copper wire that rotates and it's calibrated uh, to the correct voltages so um, anyway that's and it's a much smaller version of the previous one I built um, and I kind of want to leave it uh, open so uh, so the nuts and bolts can be visualized and just the front end will be um, shown uh, and so I could just literally screw this little tiny wooden block it's only like four centimeters in size um, onto uh, onto the audio project of my choice so it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty cool thing I've always wanted to build one of these and I always liked them when I saw them in uh, old school hi-fi stereo systems um, so it works uh, works really well Thanks for watching.